23 News This Morning starts right now. Hey, good morning. Welcome into 23 News This Morning. Andy Gannon will join us in just a little bit on Wednesday, April the 21st, 2010. Let's have a look at our forecast details here. And as far as the radar picture goes, nothing happening just yet. But later on today, we've got a very slight chance we could see a shower or two pop into the mix, maybe even a rumble of thunder. Right now pegged at 20%. We'll see temperatures warm back up into the middle 60s for daytime highs. So not a bad spring-like forecast for us. But again, as we head into the weekend here, starting to work a little bit more in the way of some showers into the mix. We'll have a complete look at the forecast coming up here at 503. Stay with us. Much more coming up in just a little bit. I'm not sure my battery is working yet or my microphone. Mic is check, working. mic check, testing one, two, three. All still right. doesn't seem you to be working. Some news. This is fun. I'll find another mic. We'll talk to you in a little bit, bud. All right, sounds good. Let's move on to some of our top stories here for you this morning. And as we uh, get going here on this Wednesday, uh, looking for some of the headlines to be on camera three or one? Three. Okay, cool. Even better. No prompter there. I love it. What a great start. All right, Rockford School Board member. More information. Teachers spend less time. The last summer for some elementary school students to, well, have their summers off. There's some big unanswered questions, though, about union contracts and extra costs that are holding back the idea. Lewis Lemon Principal Teresa Harvey presented a PowerPoint along with 156 parent signatures and about 15 staff signatures to the Education Committee last night. Now, while Harvey covered transportation costs and calendar proposals, the school break scheduling, the committee also wanted to see a little bit more before giving its approval. Despite the request, members seem extremely supportive of the second year of a round school there in District 205. And one of the board members says that she'll do all she can to see that it happens. I would like to see more year-round schools. I really would. I also would like to see a middle school component. I am a proponent, and I will push for it. And if they need my help, I'll be happy to give it to them. their final approval. In order to expedite the approval process, the full board will receive a preliminary paper report, and that proposal is due on Friday. All right, also Rod Blagojevich in the news, not Alice. Yeah, did you hear about him yesterday? Big stuff. Yeah, he said some harsh words. Came out on his south side home right there in front of everybody with his lawyers, and he didn't really talk to reporters after he got done. He just made some comments, and here's what he had to say. He's pretty darn mad at that U.S. attorney Fitzgerald, and he had some comments such as this. Last week in their proffer of lives, they're now hitting below the belt and attacking my wife. That was the governor right there with a swarm of media around his south side home as he uh, basically said he wants to see the U.S. Attorney Fitzgerald in court today, called him a coward, and said that he completely understands how dirty politics can be. After he made his comments, he quickly went back inside answering no questions from reporters. Blagojevich expected to be at that hearing that they have set up today. 5.03 our time. Should we just head on to weather here? Let's do some weather. <laughs> well, let's let the open roll. Now, weather on the breeze from 23 News.